<laughs> okay, new this morning, the Bowie State University basketball court getting a makeover thanks to a local NBA champ. News Force Megan McGrath has details on the gift from the Durant Family Foundation. When the Bowie State University Bulldogs play their first home game on November 10th, they'll be playing on a brand new NBA quality basketball court. The women's team will hit the hardwood a few weeks later, and the coaches can't wait. We go from just being an okay, having an okay home court advantage, to adding this beautiful floor, more bleachers, more seating capacity. It's lighter. Um, it has more graphics, so it's it's a better look and a better feel. Joel Webb is a senior, so this is his final year playing basketball for BSU. He thinks the new court will generate a lot of excitement. A bigger crowd out, they want to see the new court, uh, see us play, and hopefully we can bring wins on this court. The new court was made possible by a $500,000 donation from NBA star Kevin Durant. Durant grew up in Prince George's County and through his foundation has poured millions of dollars into programs that support youth, family, athletics and social justice. His mother, Wanda, runs the Durant Family Foundation. She saw the finished court for the first time today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wanda Durant says her son played basketball as a child on the Bowie State campus, so improving the basketball court only seemed fitting. There were um, many tournaments here, and my sons played in those tournaments throughout the years prior to going to high school basketball and with AAU and WABO. Um, and so just being here, bringing back all the memories. The donation didn't just pay for the basketball court. There are upgrades to the press box and seating as well. well for us, donations like this are huge. Uh, the support that we receive for athletics comes from private donations. We're a state university, but state funds cannot go to our athletics program. The men and women's teams have been practicing on the new court for a couple of weeks now, but they can't wait to play their first official games. Megan McGrath, News 4.